Earlier, my colleague Jamie Yukas spoke with Republican strategist Leslie Sanchez. It does start to create what we consider a gender gap that really only shows itself when people go in the polls. It's this cringeworthy moment that people tend to remember in election cycles, and they remember the candidate that cast him or put the pall over uh, the campaign that way. That's what we have to see is, do we start to see this gender gap going? And you're clearly seeing the Hillary Clinton campaign trying to do that, hashtag I'm with her. They're trying to light that Kindle, or use it as Kindle, to light the fire and, and motivate women. Leslie, considering women make up over half the overall vote here. How can the Republican Party deal with this issue this time around? It's a challenge, and there's no doubt, and there's certainly no doubt that Hillary Clinton has benefited from moving this gender card forward. If you think about the New Hampshire debate she had with Barack Obama in 2008, when she, you know, when he said, "Well, you're likable enough," you know, that was something that really got the ear and really promoted her by about 12 points with women voters when she had lost Iowa. So she uses that card and, and calls out these bully tactics uh, and these sexism uh, approaches. I wouldn't say that was, but it has benefited her to play that. Gender Gender card. I think in this case, uh, it, it is a, a problem for the Republican Party the more that that gap continues. Republicans can tend to continue to, to get the support of married women, but it's new millennial women. It's a lot of women who are now really looking at the two candidates. And we don't want them voting on gender, but substance. And, but this makes that argument extremely difficult.